Suppose you bought a house for $165,000 in 2012, and it has steadily increased its value by $2,250 a year. Let V represent the market value in dollars for your home and why the length of time you have lived there in years since the house was purchased. Part A, complete the following table. Notice how we're given the year and then we're asked to find Y, the number of years you lived in the home, and then V, the market value. Well, because you purchased the home in 2012, in 2012, you have lived in the house zero years, and therefore Y is zero. In 2015, you've lived in the home for three years, and therefore Y is equal to three. Notice how we can determine the value of Y by taking the given year and subtracting the base year, or the year you purchased the home. 2015 minus 2012 is three. In 2018, you've lived in the home six years, because 2018 minus 2012 is six, and therefore y is six. And now let's find the market value for each year. Again, 2012 is the year you purchased the home for $165,000, which means the initial value of the home is the market value in the year 2012. And again, we know the units are dollars. In 2015, you've lived in the home for three years, and it's increasing in value $2,250 each year, and therefore the market value is the initial value, $165,000 plus $2,250 times three, again, because it's increasing in value $2,250 each year. Well, 2,250 times three equals 6,750, 165,000 plus 6,750 equals 171,750, which is the value of the home in the year 2015. Then in the year 2018, you've lived in the home for six years, and therefore the market value of V is equal to 165,000 plus 2,250 times six. Well, 2,250 times six equals 13,500. 165,000 plus 13,500 equals 178,500, which is the market value in the year 2018. For part B, write an equation that expresses V, the market value, after living there for Y years. Well, again, because the market value increases by $2,250 each year, the market value V is equal to the starting value of 165,000 plus 2,250 times Y, the number of years you've lived in the home. So plus 2,250 Y. And then finally for part C, in what year is your home expected to be worth $189,750? To answer this question, we use the equation for part B and substitute 189,750 for V. So let's go ahead and do that over here. Performing the substitution, we have 189,750 equals 165,000 plus 2,250Y. And now if we solve this equation for Y, we can answer the question. To begin solving this equation, we first isolate the variable term by adding or subtracting. To isolate 2,250Y on the right side of the equation, we need to undo 165,000 by subtracting 165,000 on both sides of the equation. Whatever operation we perform on one side of the equation, we always perform on the other, so the result is an equivalent equation. Subtracting on the left, this difference is 24,750. On the right side, this difference is zero, which is the reason why we subtracted this amount on both sides. The right side is now just 2,250y. Now that we've isolated the variable term, the last step is to multiply or divide to isolate the variable 
and solve for y because 2250y means 2250 times y. To solve for y, the next step is to divide both sides of the equation by 2250. Simplifying on the right side, this quotient is equal to one. One times y is y. And now we need to find this quotient. And let's do this on the next slide. We have 24, we have 24,750 divided by 2,250. We begin by determining how many 2,250s are in 2,475, which is one. One times the divisor is 2,250. Now we subtract. Five minus zero is five. Seven minus five is two. Four minus two is two. And two minus two is zero. Because this difference is less than the divisor, we know that one is correct. We bring down the next digit, which is zero, and now determine how many 2,250s are in 2,250, which of course is one. One times the divisor is 2,250. We subtract, the difference is zero, which means the quotient is exactly 11. So because y is equal to 11, we know after 11 years, you can expect your home to be worth 189,750. But that's not the question. The question asks, in what year is your home expected to be worth this amount? Well, the base year, the year you purchased the home, was 2012. So starting with the year you purchased the home, we need to add 11 years to determine in what year the value is expected to be 189,750. The sum is 2023. So now we can say the home is expected to be worth this amount in the year 2023. I hope you found this helpful.